Time to focus up. It's Friday. Let's finish out this week strong. We have been doing an excellent job with our I can't statement for the week. We will continue that as long as we are talking about word problems. But today, Friday, we are going to focus on the following I can statement. Repeat after me. I can write my answer to a word problem using labels. Say it with me, labels. I'm going to put it up on the so today we're going to be focusing in on labels and that means that because we have a brand new word up there we need to add it to our definition box so as i'm adding this to our definition box think about what labels means to you so when we spoke about or asked about the dogs that were playing catch we labeled our answer with 20 dogs. When we spoke about our cats, we labeled our answers 17, yes, cats. So the label, what does it do? It tells us what we're talking about in the question. So how would I define the word label? Hmm. Well, is label a number? No, it's words, okay? So, words, and what do they tell us? Yes, they tell us what we're talking about. So, words that tell us the thing we are talking about so I need you guys to help me out today with our word problem we're going to be using our two strategies our first strategy is using cubes our second strategy is going to be solving our problem and making sure that we are writing our labels with those strategies we need to choose whether we're going to draw a picture or use manipulatives I'll give you a secret but you get to choose what you want to do. I'm going to put the question up on the board, then we're going to solve it. There were six balloons flying in the air. Seven more balloons were let into the air. How many balloons are in the air altogether? Well, our first strategy is cubes. C stands for... You're ready or pro. Circle the numbers. What are my two numbers? Yes, six and seven. U stands for, that's correct, underline the question. I see my question mark, I see a question word. How many balloons are in the air all together? Finish that. My B stands for, Box in the math words. There were six balloons flying in the air. No math words there. Seven more balloons were let into the air. Yes, the word more. How many balloons are in the air all together? Yes, all together is another math word. Perfect. Now I want to evaluate. When I evaluate, I think what I'm going to be doing. Well, I know that more lets me know that I'm going to be adding. I know that I'm writing an answer. So if I write an answer, I need to have a number sentence. And today I know I'm using labels as well. Let's remember all that important information. The last thing I need to do is solve and check. So I want to use a number sentence because we have been learning about number sentences this week. So I'm going to need how many add-ins? At least two add-ins. My first add in is six, my next add in is seven. What goes in the middle? More lets me know that we are adding. What kind of sign is this? Yes, a plus sign. I know that I also have to have an equal sign. Don't forget that today we're focusing in on labeling and labeling is the thing that tells us what we're talking about. Today we're talking about balloons. 
Do you think that our label is going to be talking about balloons? Yes, because that is a thing we're talking about. Six plus seven equals what? I said that I was going to draw a picture. I'm going to stick to what I said. So let's draw it. Ready? One, two, three. I don't hear you. Four, five, six. How many counters here? Yes, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to put them all together to see what my answer is. Let's count. One, two, I don't hear you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm going to put 13 here. That is my answer. But today we said that I can write my answer. So I wrote my answer to a word problem. Brought it from the word problem using labels. Have I labeled this yet? No, I haven't. I could be talking about 13 Mr. Nieveses. I could be talking about 13 saxophones. I could be talking about 13 counters. But is that what my word problem is talking about? No, my word problem is talking about, yes, balloons. So I'm not just going to write 13 because that's not using my label. I need to use my label so that I know what I'm answering. It asked how many balloons are in the air altogether. My answer is 13. That's the number. But 13 what? Yes, 13 balloons. When you go back to work on your classwork, make sure to label. How do I know what I'm labeling? I look for the object, the person, or the thing that the question is asking me about. How many balloons? We're asking about balloons. Earlier, yesterday, we were asking about dogs. Earlier in the week, we were asking about cats. Today, identify, even when you're doing your math words, you can identify what you're talking about. And that way you remember, you remember that you were talking about balloons. Label today all of your answers so that you can complete your I can statement and finish this week off on a high note. You guys did a great job today. You guys have done Phenomenal this whole week. Super proud of you. Keep it up.